there is a Wichita, uh, Wichita diner rather that is known for its good food and friendly smiles. But now customers are seeing a new smile thanks to a kind stranger. New at six, Cakes and Lawless shows us how one man's generosity made it all possible. A man visiting the Duda Diner in downtown Wichita was going to the restaurant with family for the very first time. Yet after meeting his server, he ordered more than just breakfast. And we have your triple D, banana bread, French toast. We got some drinks started with over here today. Of all the items on the menu, there's one treat people cannot get enough of. <laughs> A waiter, Brian Maxner. All right, Brian, yeah, here you go. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yet a few weeks ago, this customer on the left was taken back by Brian's attitude, and he had an offer. I was just almost speechless, but I immediately accepted on Brian's behalf. Still kind of in shock. I still walk by my mirror and go, wow, you know, it's like, oh, I look so different. <laughs> a makeover for a single dad, transforming his decaying teeth that he struggled with for years, and now he has this new megawatt smile. I'm going to live longer from it, and it makes me a lot happier. It does. It just, it just blows my mind how good people can be when not and not know you at all. It was crazy because I've been a server and I can't even imagine someone doing that for me. It was just a huge gesture. I've seen a lot of people coming in and wanting to see Brian smile, which is awesome. But all of our servers have now great smiles. Right, hey, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you again and again. I don't know. I can't even thank him enough. It's not, it's not crazy. I just try to go out and pay it forward and smile and kill people with a lot of kindness. The man who paid for the makeover is Fred Betcher. He's an attorney from Ponca City. Brian tells me that the man has helped several other people with acts of generosity. And this is not the first person to get a makeover at Duda Diner. The owner tells us she got a makeover from a local magazine this past year, which also included dental work. 